my god, bro. I've tried to do this intro so many times. I just, I can't get it right. I just can't. I don't know how to get into the content. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get it. I just cursed. I, oh my god. I can't curse in the first like, 10 seconds. Okay. Let's try that again. A lot of things have changed, um, which is why I'm making this video. I have a haircut. Look at that. Funny thing. My barber, you know, that I go to, actually broke his hand. So when I was finally about to get a haircut after like two months, I was I scheduled it, blah, blah, blah. He texted me and said, yo, Ty, I'm sorry. Can we reschedule because I actually broke my hand? And I'm just like, yo, if you saw my hair look like, no, I can't reschedule it. But, you know, I can't cheat on my barber. So I just stuck it through, waited another week. And as you guys can see, he got me right. So shout out to Zach. As you guys can see, uh, it was raining a bit earlier. Um, it cleared up now, so it's a bit better. So I do want to go out. Um, into the city, don't know where yet. So currently, by the time you're watching this, it's definitely changed, but currently I'm at nine, 3,931 hours. And you know, this is the closest I've ever been to being fully monetized. It has been a freaking journey, guys. Being monetized, yes, is very important. I'm very excited, can't believe it's happening. But it's not the only thing I wanted to talk about today. All right, bro, number one, it is so hot outside. It's a little humid, so I am kind of regretting the jacket now. So I guess the first thing I should mention is I have a new job. I will say this is probably the first job in a long time where I actually, I don't hate it. You know, I'm looking for a spot where I can sit. I'm thinking about sitting somewhere down there, but the only problem is someone's over there. I don't want to be like old beside people because people look at me weird. Whenever I talk to myself on a camera, which rightfully so, I get it. You know, I wouldn't want to sit beside a guy that's talking to a camera also. But um, I do want to find somewhere to sit. I might just, I don't know, but I don't want to be too close to the street just because the street can be loud, as you could probably tell. So we're probably going to go somewhere over here. That's probably what I'm going to do. I am not going to lie to you. I am really regretting this jacket now. It is so hot outside. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in pretty much all my videos, whenever I'm outside, I always have my headphones on. I think I use it as a coping mechanism. I just can't go outside without my headphones on. You know, I just, if I don't have them on, I just feel like everybody's watching me and I'm not able to concentrate on just the camera. I don't know if that's like a problem I need to fix or whatever. I don't know, but um, I do want to talk about a couple things. So as I mentioned before, I do have a new job. And as I said, I do actually like it. And it really, you know, having that happen to me really changed my perspective on the 9 to 5 life. I've made videos in the past talking about how I hated the 9 to 5 or whatever. And part of that is still true. You know, I don't want to work a 9 to 5 the rest of my life. But, you know, having a job where I can actually go to and not hate it severely is, it doesn't seem like such a burden. You know, I'm able to finally go to work, you know, and make decent money, you know, pay my bills or whatever, and continue to do YouTube on the side, which is... You know, at first, I really just wanted to blow up as fast as possible to try to get out of the 9 to 5. But now, I feel like I'm able to put more creativity into my channel and, you know, do the things I really want to do. Like, you probably have noticed. Actually, let me take my headphones out because I can't even hear. Okay. You probably noticed that the channel has drastically changed since even a couple months ago. Like, a couple months ago, I, were making, like, I was still making vlogs, but they were so different than my vlogs now. I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like back then my vlogs were more trying to capture an audience and try to keep you guys engaged as for as long as possible. You would see me put in like captions and I still do that of course, but I just don't do it as much. Like back then I used to put captions constantly. I always had like some transition, some sound effect, something on screen to try to keep the, like, the attention. I feel like now, since I do have a new job where I'm not, you know, mentally just stressed, I'm able to just do what I want and not give a fuck about the analytics and numbers and trying to get a number one video, which did happen. So I want to say thank you to you guys. One of my videos unexpectedly, not blew up, but did really good for my channel. It got like over a thousand views at this point. I think it's at 1.1K. Um, and I literally recorded that on my phone just randomly, not even really trying to. It took me like maybe 30 minutes to an hour to edit. I wasn't expecting much from it, but it really did well. One of you guys actually coming and saying like, yo Ty, I, I bet it feels so good that this video that you wasn't gonna post did like amazing. And it does, you know, it really feels really good to know that I can just talk about me, talk about my life, you know, just how I feel and people actually tune in and you know, it's nice to know that there's people out there that's gonna listen to little old me. Whoa, 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 
back the fuck up, brother. What you want, my friend? What's up, man? Bro, he literally strolled up on me like randomly. Hey. I I don't know what's happening here. We're having like a stare off. Bro, Miami is so fucking bizarre. Downtown is like I don't even I don't even know how to explain it. Granted, with YouTube, you know, your channel evolves over time because obviously when I first started, I had no idea how to even use a camera, how to use, you know, Final Cut or anything. You know, I had to learn everything step by step. So, of course, over time the channel is going to improve and just things are going to change. But just from a couple months ago, yo, okay, he bro, bro what's going on? Bro, they what's going on? Man, brought a friend with him this time. I want no problems, my guy. He's like sticking the ground let me you know this is his territory. I get it, man. Look, I don't want no problems. I'm not here to Hopefully, bro, hopefully they're okay, man. I'm letting chickens enjoy their life. I'm enjoying my life, guys. Just leave me alone. Just you guys stay stay over there. With my newfound creativity, I do have new goals that I want to pursue. Um, for the channel, I want to do more vlogs. So, as you guys probably been noticing, I have been doing pretty much exclusively vlogs. I've really been enjoying that. No matter what YouTuber, no matter what niche, I think every YouTuber's biggest dream is to be able to just talk about whatever they want to talk about in any capacity and have people actually genuinely have interest in it. My biggest fear when I first started YouTube was that I was going to get stuck into a niche um, that I didn't want to really do. You know, at first I was doing reaction videos. Gladly I stopped that. You know, there's nothing wrong with the reaction channels, but I want to do content that's, you know, authentic and new and that hasn't been seen before. I don't want to react to somebody else's content that they've already done. And I got to admit, I did, you know, dabble into the Mills improvement, that type of the red pill shit. I did that for a little bit. Glad I stopped that because, you know, I don't want my channel to be based around you know, having to talk about women or cars or money and if I don't talk about it then nobody cares. So luckily, I'm starting to grow an audience from purely just me. You know, I don't have to, you know, do anything crazy or wild or just be a nuisance to society. I can just be a good genuine person. I can literally just put on a jacket, you know, my Adidas pants and Crocs no socks and I can just have people listen in, you know. Bro, look at this. They got me standing on this fearing for my life. I'm fearing for my life. Can you leave me alone? Yo, I'm about to move spots. I'm not about to deal with the chicken uprising. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for this. All right, let me go. All right, so as I was saying, I had to move to a whole new spot because I was literally getting attacked by chickens. Um, you know, every YouTuber's biggest dream is to just be able to talk about whatever they want to talk about and have people listen in. And I'm happy that I'm growing an audience from just me. You know, I'm not doing crazy challenges or anything, no pranks, no fake pranks. You know, I'm not selling crypto bullshit. I'm not trying to teach you how to get rich. Something else I've been thinking about is moving out of Miami. So I know my channel's very focused about, you know, living in Miami and doing things in Miami. But, you know, my biggest dream wasn't to actually live here in Miami. It was actually to live in New York. Now, you're probably wondering, Ty, why'd you move to Miami then? I do have a good reason. It was just the closest city to my hometown. You know that whenever I lived in Mississippi, I just hated my life. You know, I just... I would have done anything at the time to just get out of that state, you know, and that's what I did. On a whim, I literally packed my bags and just moved to Miami without a second thought, and I never looked back. And here I am, two years later, almost three, almost three years later, living my life in Miami, living literally a dream. But I'm not gonna lie, you know, New York has always just had a special place in my heart. I've always just loved the way New York City, the vibe, all of that. I just love the way. It was always portrayed. I don't think I'm gonna be leaving Miami anytime soon. Maybe the next year, like this time next year, maybe. Who knows, we will see. You know, a lot of you guys do wanna move here and I get it, you know, Miami is a beautiful city. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm here in downtown, living my life, you know? Good vibes. But for me, the people just, I cannot hang with the people here. Everybody here is just so, Fake. I really haven't been able to run into somebody that's actually authentic. You know, it's really just been very surface level stuff. What's your sign? You know, let's go to the club. Just not like just stuff I don't give a fuck about. If you guys, you know, watching this channel, you're probably more than likely like me. You know, you you want you want deeper connection. I've said this a couple times. We only have one life to live. I'm not trying to waste my life at the club because in what 10, 15 years, not even that, in three years, two years. That night at the club ain't gonna mean a damn thing. So like, why do I care about what's happening at the club or who did this or any of the nonsense? So, you know, I really just haven't been able to run into anybody that's 
been not like that. Trying to find a good girl in Miami is like trying to find the gold at the end of the rainbow. You're not finding it. It's, it doesn't exist. I think for me, New York is just more my role. I feel like there's more normal people in New York just living a normal life, going to work, not trying to get on you know, Instagram, trying to blow up on a yacht or whatever, doing this and that. Just normal ass people, no rappers, not Drake coming in randomly, like just normal everyday folk and business people. That's why I, I want to be around people that's just living actual life. Like, bro, Miami is not real life. If I do anything in this video, I want to break into your mind. Miami is not real life. If you were coming to Miami looking for a normal, decent life, don't come to Miami. Go anywhere else. Go to Texas. Go to, you know, maybe even LA. I feel like LA might be more normal than whatever the fuck this simulation is. So I guess that brings me into my next goal, my relationship status. So um, as I was mentioning, you know, finding a good girl in Miami is just, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's very hard. Like You would have to go through a lot of girls and go through a lot of time and effort just to try to find one good girl that might not even be a good girl. She might end up doing some tomfoolery also. So at this point, I'm not even really looking for a relationship. And I know that I made a video like a couple weeks ago talking about, you know, I want a girl and I want to get in a relationship. It's true. I do want someone that, I, you know, that's my other half that I can come to and depend on and like, you know, have that different connection with somebody. But living here, I just don't see it feasibly coming true. So. You know, at this point, I'm really just gonna stay on my own. I wanna be single. Now, don't get me wrong. If I do find that girl, I'll be more than happy to, you know, give that side of me. But for any random chick that's just trying to get on Instagram or trying to, I don't know, do whatever the fuck they do these days. It's gotten so bad that I even deleted TikTok. So for, a lo for the longest time, I've had TikTok downloaded. I never really used it. For some reason, I don't know what kind of algorithm they have, but they know exactly what my interests are and what I wanna see. So every time I get on TikTok, I somehow spend at least two or three hours every time I get on the app just scrolling. I don't want to see this this random cop killing some black guy. I don't want to see that. I want to see peace and positivity. Can I see like people out in nature living a good life or someone talking about something good they did for the world? I'm tired of seeing negativity. So that's why I had to delete TikTok. I was trying to use it for my channel. So I do realize that TikTok is a good thing to like blow up channels or whatever. But as I mentioned, I'm not trying to blow up anymore. You know, I. I've gone past that phase. I've got to the point where I just want to enjoy the content, make content like this, and just talk to you guys on a deeper level. Take this word of advice. Delete it. Just get rid of it. Get out of sight, out of mind. You don't have to worry about it. I Trust me. It saves you so much of your time. I feel so much happier not seeing, you know, random ass in my timeline. Like, yo, do you understand how bad that damages the brain? Pretty sure it's supposed to get banned soon. I don't know, but... A lot, of, but a lot of people are going to be out of income. I don't know how they're going to make it. YouTube, is, I would say, is the hardest social media to ever get into because it's long form. You know, you're trying to get random strangers to watch you, watch me. You know, you, know, you have to do something creative or different. or You got to be very good at what you do to get, you know, followers on YouTube. But TikTok, what, five, ten seconds, some random ass or do this little dance. You don't have to talk, just lip sync. You're blowing up, right? So, you know, TikTok is just a different animal compared to YouTube. So for a lot of people, bro, when TikTok is gone, good luck. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how they're gonna make it, but I've been doing YouTube for a long time, so I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna get my YouTube to the point where I'm chilling. I don't have to worry about, you know, and then YouTube is never going anywhere. People will say, yo, YouTube is gonna get banned one day. You know, what's gonna happen when YouTube gets banned? YouTube is not getting banned. The only way it's gonna get banned if, is if YouTube starts allowing just the most raunchiest content, which they don't. They get rid of that shit immediately. Fresh and fit, gone. All the Red Pills guys, gone. Guys are talking about crazy conspiracy, gone. YouTube is not going nowhere. They know exactly what they're doing. Twitch, you see what happened to Twitch. They started allowing all that nonsense and, you know, they're losing a lot of money. So YouTube, they understand we're good. So lastly, I want to talk about what I'm going to be doing at the end of this year. Um, so very exciting news. I'm going to be going back home for the first time in like almost three years. I haven't seen any of my family, my brothers, my sister, my mom, my dad my whole family in basically three years at this point. For Christmas this year, I'm planning on going back home to, you know, see my family, see, you know, my siblings, my friends, which is so exciting because for a lot of you guys, you guys are new, you have only seen me in Miami. You haven't seen me back in my hometown. You haven't really seen my friends. I do have videos, but they're very old of my, you know, me vlogging in Mississippi. You know, I haven't seen my mom, my dad, my brothers, sister, uh, my brother or my sisters in almost three years, bro. It's gonna feel nice to see family. A lot of people get caught up in the hustle culture, you know, trying to get to the bag or get some money or whatever they're trying to do. And they forget about the little things in life, like actually being happy and 
family and just connections and memories. You forget about the little things that actually matter that's gonna actually impact you whenever you're about to die. All right, it is a bit hot, so let me head back home. Um, I am burning the fuck up in this jacket, as you can probably tell, like the sun is beaming right now. So let me get home. Well, let me go because I am burning like a toaster. I, you know, I, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I should have realized that I still live in Miami. You know, I can't, I can't do these things. So let me go. I love you guys.